first, just want to thank everybody for joining us uh, this morning. Obviously, I think everybody's aware that earlier today we announced that Chet would be missing this season uh, with a Liz Frank injury to his to his right foot. Um, this is a, a a rupture of the tendon and not a fracture. Um, I think a couple just a couple of things about about the injury itself. One, this is an acute injury. Um, it's something where uh, it's the result of him basically being pressed down, getting ready to jump uh, at the exact time that he was getting he was getting force on his foot. Um, a millisecond earlier, where he's up in the air already, or a millisecond later, where his foot is flat then you're not dealing with something like this. So, um, you know, I've talked quite a bit about the role of uh, luck and good fortune and bad luck and um, the role that plays in our lives and also in, in, in sports. Um, and this is just a great example of getting some, getting some bad luck, you know um, you know, I wish it wasn't the case, but um you know, this is just kind of the, this is just kind of the hand that we've been dealt. Um, Long-term prognosis is obviously very positive for this. We've consulted with um, three of the uh, top foot specialists in, in the, in the country. Um, everybody's in agreement that um, this is a kind of like a wrong place, wrong time situation. And uh, he's going to make a full recovery. Uh, he also, um, you know, is going to require surgery. There's another consensus on that. So we've taken our time to kind of go through these steps the last couple of days and, and get to this point as we gather more information. Um, you know, I'm obviously really disappointed for Chet um, because this is, um, I mean, he was just having a monster summer. Um, you know, he's he's been playing, uh, you know, with tons of NBA players over the course of the summer and it's been been getting better and better and better. So, um, you know, in this case, we're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer for his presence uh, to 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 actually take the floor for us. But, um, you know, I I'm I know like who he is, especially over the last you know few days where I've watched him have to go through and process all of this. And um, he's he's absolutely the right guy for us. Um, he's got a great mentality. Um, you know, obviously he was disappointed initially, um, and I'm sure he still is, but his spirits, is, his spirits are high. He's ready to roll in terms of the rehab. And, um, I think he's gonna do a really great job with it. Um, this injury itself, just a little more about that. Um, I know everybody's probably, um, played WebMD and Googled a million different things. And, um, I'd always, you know, caution against that for your own safety, <laughs> not just for your professional, uh, safety, but, um, uh, it's a it's an injury that's very very common in football players, um, and it, even the season there's actually four or five of them already uh, during the season. So um, it's not a, one that's really common in basketball players. Like I said, because of just the uniqueness of where the force has to be and the way that people have to have contact. It's a contact injury, is the way it was described to me. So um, short term setback for him. Um, and short-term setback for us, uh, there are a lot of uh, NBA players that have had this not exact injury, but have had injuries their rookie season. Uh, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, uh, Blake Griffin, uh, to just name a few, Nick Collison, who um, I think is going to be really helpful through this process uh, for, for us and for Chet. Um, you know, injuries happen to young players, they happen to, old player, to older players. Uh, the timing of the injury is, is, you know, is just not something you control. So um, as far as, um, you know, as far as the way that he'll use this time, I've said this before, whenever we have bad fortune or something doesn't go our way, my experience has always been, at least here, there's always something good that follows that in some way, shape or form. Um, and I'm, confident that that's going to be the case here. Like something positive will come from this. Um, as long as we take it in and uh, understand that, you know, we have to have humility and we have to have gratitude as we deal with the setback. And I think with Chet, um, you know, he's going to have a full year uh, or full season, I should say, to focus in on his performance, his body, learn the NBA, uh, get acclimated, build relationships here, 
I think there's going to be some positives that will come from that. Um, the team itself, um, you know, I think that there'll be other people that emerge. There'll be other people to get opportunity. Um, we'll learn some things. We'll have to figure some things out. And I think we'll be, you know, on the backside of this when we get Jet back, he'll be, you know, he'll come, he'll be coming back to a stronger team. Um, and like I said, we've had our fair share of injuries uh, over the course of time, and we have to approach it the same way. If we get bad luck, good luck. I've always tried to kind of instill in our organization that either way, we have to handle it with gratitude and we have to handle it with humility because when you're in the NBA, it's, it's a pretty chaotic world and unforeseen things are going to happen. So the ability to kind of keep pressing through that and uh, being able to adapt and adjust is really key. I think about it from a team standpoint, we're trying to climb our second mountain basically in, in Oklahoma city. And, um, like I said earlier, there's going to be plenty of setbacks and, uh, adversities. And when we, when we, when we get where we want to go, um, we're going to be able to look back at this as well and say, Hey, do you remember when, you know, we had to overcome this as well? I think it's going to actually be something we'll look back upon and, and, and look at as like a source of pride that we managed through this as well. Um, we're also set up, I think really, really well because of the fact that, um, you know, we're building something that can be sustainable and we have a long runway with our, with our team because of its age and, uh, Chet will be a huge factor in that, but it's bigger than one season or one game for us. And, um, we just have to be, we just have to be patient as we go through this. Um, I was explaining to someone the other day, if you asked me before the lottery, uh, right before uh, I walked into that room, if I would want to take my chances of going through the lottery with the odds, picking, you know, you could pick between one or you could pick eight. Or the other option is you could have Chet Holmgren, but you have to wait a year to get him. I would, I would not let you finish the sentence. So yes, um, it's a little bit of delayed gratification, but that's okay. You know, that's part of, that's part of where we're at right now. Um, but we're still in a very advantageous position because um, Chet's in great hands. Um, Dottie and the group are doing a great job with him. He's extremely motivated and he's going to be able to, to find value and, and work on himself um, throughout the season, even though I know that he liked to be on the court. If there's one thing I could say to our fans, I think this is, and this is, this is important. Um, you know, this is Chet's first experience really in Oklahoma city. Um, and I think that it's a very special place to play. Um, and I would just tell our fans, let them know that you care. Let them know that you have his back because this is the type of guy that's going to have your back and he's going to have your back for a long time. And I kind of, in a weird way, the way the relationship is starting between him and the fans is, you know, Chet hasn't made a basket for this team yet. So, you know, I think our fans being supportive of him and showing what it's really like to play here and why it's such a special place to play um, without having, without even having put the ball in the basket yet. Um, uh, I think that's pretty unique. And so I would just say, let him know that you care, let him know you have his back uh, cause he's going to have yours. And um, he's, he's going to be a special guy for you to watch over the course of time.